this morning, I uh, wanted to talk to the kids this morning about something that, uh, Lord willing, will be happening soon, is uh, the, the time that we go back to school. Um, are you guys, you guys here um, in church or in live stream, are you guys ready to go back to school? No, no. <laughs> no, not really? Oh, no. Okay, I know your parents are. <laughs> They're eagerly anticipating that uh, you guys' arrival back into school, but... Um, when we go back into school, when we go into our classrooms, there's, there's going to be new things. We'll have new teachers, maybe even new friends that we're going to see. Um, but with a classroom, there comes a set of rules that everyone has to go by, right? So sometimes teachers have it on the wall so people can clearly see. Um, some rules can be that you have, to, um, you have to raise your hand, right? And you have to be quiet until you're called upon. Have you guys ever had that? Do you guys raise your hand? Do you have to do that in the house too? No, not as much? <laughs> no, but like rules like that, some rules of order so that in order uh, for the good work of your classmates and you that you, can, that you can do your work, right? So in the church, we kind of have those kind of classroom rules too. And... Um, if you look to the tops over here, we have uh, some examples of those rules as the Ten Commandments. Now, can anybody tell me how many commandments are in the Ten Commandments? Ten, right? That's a little nervous, right? You're like, is he doing a trick question here? I'm pretty sure he said ten. <laughs> but yeah, there's Ten Commandments. And not only those Ten Commandments, but in the five books of the Bible, the Torah, the first five, there's almost... There's over 600 different commandments that God has instilled for his people. So th that's a lot of commandments, right? And just kind of like that trick question I just asked you guys, like sometimes people try to throw those things out there just to see if you know what you're talking about or even catch you or trick you, right? And that's not even, that was exactly the same case in Jesus' time too. Jesus was talking to everybody and everybody was amazed of, how uh, his authority was and all the answers that he was getting concerning, giving concerning the law. But one of the teachers of the law thought it'd be really funny to do a trick on Jesus. And he asked Jesus, Jesus, teacher, what is the greatest commandment? And he thought he stumped him, right? But Jesus, the living God, the one that breathed the word, right? You can't stump Jesus here. So in what Jesus replies, he said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great, the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. So, if you guys look back up on here, you look at the Ten Commandments. The first four of the Ten Commandments they deal with that first part, what Jesus was talking about. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind, and your strength. So if you go to by that greatest commandment, you will follow those four rules, right? And then from 5 through 10, if you read through those things, that would tie into love your neighbor as yourself. So if we love each other, we love ourselves, right? So if you want to be treated well and respected, then you have to abide by these rules here, like do not steal, do not murder, do not commit adultery. If you don't want that for yourself, then go by those Ten Commandments. So when Jesus was telling these things, if you go by those two great commandments, all those other laws that are tied in, they, they will just go in right after each other because if you honor those rules, then those ones will follow. So... Just like we're in our classroom, we want to respect each other. You guys want to learn and grow. You have to go by your classroom rules. And we have to go by our awesome classroom rules here too. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, um, for your great commandments to show us what, uh, what it would be to be model Christians to this world. Um, we know, Lord, that uh, we fall short many times. Um, but we need your help and your guidance. Um, we need your Holy Spirit, Lord, so that when we do fall short, that we recognize that and that we try to remedy it. Lord, we, we pray that uh, 
you help us to to love you with all our heart with all our mind with all our strength that we that we don't keep an inch for ourselves lord but that we give it all to you and lord we 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 pray for our neighbors we pray for everyone around us lord that we treat them like we treat ourselves those those two commandments they're easy to say lord but they're very difficult to to uphold um they they need your guidance your love and your your grace in order for us to accomplish those things and we pray for that this morning we pray this in your son's precious name amen